What do you mean, what am I doing? You're taking forever, Kitty. Fine. How long is it gonna take for you to take the shot? You're not far. <laughs> what are you doing? How many times have we played this game? You, you can't move. We, what, well, um, what was that? I can't tell you what to do. First of all, I can tell you what to do. Second of all, you can't move. That's play, how you play horse. Call you, I didn't call you a name. It's the name of the game. It's horse. I, I know you're a cat, okay? I know you're a cat. I know. I, I get it. I get it. Okay. <clears throat> so you have to make a shot from where I made the shot. Uh, no. <laughs> I wasn't cheating. Yeah, just because I'm two feet taller than you doesn't mean I'm cheating. It just means I won the genetic lottery of being better than you in every single way. Oh, I'm joking. Now make the shot, cutie. What happens if you miss? Oh, you get a letter. What? No, no. What are you talking about? Just take the shot. It's a layup. You can do it. No, I guess, I guess basketballs weren't really built for paws. No, but you know that has, that didn't stop them from making a Neko league. I don't know how that works. Cute as hell to watch on the TV though. Sorry. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, see, you made it. What? You want water now? You want me to pour in a bowl for you, too? <laughs> Why am I acting? I'm not acting like anything. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit high-strung from work today. I thought a game of basketball with me beating you because you're what, like three and a half feet tall and you know, your paws can't hold a basketball. Um, y you know, I thought me beating you would make me feel better. It just reminded me of the skill I already have against you. Okay, fine, I'll stop, I'll stop being a pain. I'll stop being a pain. I'm sorry. I apologize to you. I'm sorry that you couldn't make the damn layup. <laughs> no, it's not my fault you have paws. Huh? It is. Yeah. Listen, I don't know. I was just given this big project at work. And it was, oh, it's a drag. So, you know, I, I've been having to work on that and I really don't want to. I'd rather play with my little kitty, my little kitty. Oh, are you ready? Ready to head out of the park? Okay, come here. Leash time. Come on. Go get your leash. Go get in your leash, I guess. What do you mean, no? You can't say no to your leash. It's like literally illegal. <laughs> no. No, you're getting in your leash. Come here. Come on. Are you still sad that you lost that horse? Okay, just because I'm two and a half feet taller than you, it doesn't mean that, that I'm cheating or whatnot. It just means that you can't reach the net, okay? You're not gonna do it? 
Sir Louisa, who belongs in there, at least say what? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I said, sore loser who belongs in their leash, just say what? And you said what? So, you have to get in your leash now. Oh, stop grumbling. Okay, now that we're going home, and I know you really want to go home, I know because you're sweaty, I'm sweaty, my sports bra is feeling too tight. Okay, we gotta go home. Um, the rules, right. I know I don't have to say this again to you, but you know the rules. When we are walking, you walk beside me. You don't pull ahead. You don't lag behind. You walk beside me, okay? Good. Good. Good kitty. So. We can go. Do you need to prep? Because you will see other Neckos in the park. And I know you get nervous. But just remember... That I don't care about the other Neckos. I mean, you're my Neko and my own Neko. I know you get jealous. I know you get jealous that they're go Yes, I know the difference between jealous and envious. You get jealous that they're gonna take me away from you. They're not. I don't give an ass about any other kid. I know people are looking, but you look at me, okay? Don't take your eyes off me, okay? I get scared. Hold my hand. I mean, you know who's gripping the other side of the leash. It's me. And honestly, that's how it should be. Come on, let's head home. Are you okay? Now look at me. All the way the walk home, you were... I know I said stay next to me, but that doesn't mean barely being an inch from me. Listen, I, I don't mind. I don't. I, I really don't mind. It's just that I, I'm worried, okay? I'm worried about you. Yeah, come here. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good, I promise. Well, I mean, just because I schooled your ass in basketball it doesn't mean you're... Just... Okay, spit it out. I know you didn't eat anything. That's not what I meant by spit it out. Okay, you prom... I... Say what you need to say. Forever hold your peace. <laughs> I'm not talking about the green vegetable. Just what what do you what do you need to say? What? <laughs> so you're saying that. I supposedly wish I got more of an athletic Neko. <laughs> what? I mean, you're pretty athletic. I mean, I, look, I don't, I don't want anyone else. I don't want any other kitty. I want you. Just because, as I said, I schooled your ass in basketball, doesn't mean I want anyone else. If anything, it's fun playing with you. It's fun, I promise you. Oh, don't look at me like that. Are you feeling jealous of me? Are you feeling jealous of me? And like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave you for some for some Neko that's like, I don't know, at most a couple inches taller than you, that's not gonna help. Even if he, she, or they are like taller than you, they're not gonna beat me in basketball. Trust me. 
and besides, I don't think I should tell you this. I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't need to tell you this, but like your, your, your skills in basketball don't define you. I mean, unless you're like a, a pro basketball player, that's like a pretty defining trait, but still there's more to you. Like, see, you, you know, on the Miami Heat, Jimmy Butler started making coffee for some strange fucking reason. And he doesn't focus on basketball like he should. And he lost all those games. Anyways, um, Kitty, I love you. And I know the exact way to show you that. Come here. No, stop resisting. I don't care if you're sweaty. And I don't care if I'm sweaty. Then, then if, then we're two peas in a pod. What, what do you mean, what is it with me and peas? I just, okay. Then we belong together. Is that good? Does that sound good? Come here. I want to pick you up. Oh, my muscles are aching. And the only way for you to make me feel better is to let me pick you up. Kitty, that's about to be picked up, says what? <laughs> I gotcha. I know you fell for that on purpose. Now come here. Oh, you so sh light in my arms. I... Uh... Listen. I love you. And nothing's ever gonna change that, you know? Nothing ever. Nothing ever. <sighs> okay. We're all good. This bath, we're going to both clean. Okay, it's really just gonna get us clean, but it's also gonna be good vibes. Oh, um, kitty. Oh, did I forget you? Oh, yes, of course you can come in. Oh, what's wrong? You didn't expect a bath. Oh, don't be scared now. Come on. You're not scared? That's good. You're- I never allowed you in the bathtub before. This time is special. I just wanted to make it up to you because I get that you were feeling uncomfortable when you were walking home with me. So hop in. It's- it's warm. It's nice. I promise. Stop dipping your paw in. Come on, get in. I know you should sit. I know. I'm gonna spread my legs. And you sit right in between them. You're cute. You're so cute. You know what? Today was very stressful for all of us. For whatever reasons, work, social stuff, getting schooled by me in basketball. Um, yeah, it was, I mean, it was stressful for like so many reasons, but I think now is a good time to unwind. 
you know what I like to do when I unwind? I could count all the things that I'm grateful for. You know, there's so many things to be grateful for in our lives. And I couldn't possibly count all of them within a day's time. But one of the most things I'm most grateful for is sitting right here between my legs. No, I'm, uh, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> you, uh, I'm talking about you. Okay? Talking about you. My life's been made so much better ever since you became a part of it. And I'm really happy that you have. So, lay back and enjoy this stress-free environment with me. You know, a lot of times with depression or trauma, we're not allowed, our brain doesn't allow us to feel safe. But just know in this moment, you are totally safe. You are totally safe. Nothing is going to happen to you. You and me are totally safe. And if there is something that you needed to be protected from, I would protect you with my life. And I ain't going down easy. You know that. Yeah, you can fall asleep. Why don't you fall asleep while I wash you? I'll wash your hair and your paws. Because, you know, they got pretty dirty today in the park. You're my good kitty, you know that. you get